Hello all and welcome back. Today we are going to learn important topic of converting PowerPoint presentations into video format. Basically, there are three methods using which we can convert PowerPoint presentations into video. First method is using record slideshow and this option can be found under slideshow tab. Second method is using create a video and this option can be found under export section of main file menu. Third method is using screen recording and this option can be found under insert tab. We will also see how to convert PowerPoint presentations into animated GIF and this option can be found under export section of main file menu. Let's check out each of these options one by one. This will be the sample PowerPoint presentation that we will use as an example. It's not necessary that our presentation must have animations into it, we can also convert normal presentations into video format. As we know, the sample presentation has been animated using Zoom feature in PowerPoint. Now let's go to Slideshow tab and click on Record Slideshow. The first option that we see is Record from Current Slide. If you are in middle of some presentation, this option will start recording from current active slide. Else we can start recording from beginning of our slide. Both option will put our presentation in slideshow mode and its user interface is pretty simple. On top left corner we have record option to begin our slideshow recording. On top right corner we have setting to enable microphones and cameras. If you enable the camera you can see yourself in a small box at bottom right corner. We also have same one click options at the bottom to enable and disable these settings. On bottom left corner, it displays number of slides in your presentation and also two duration values. Obviously, one duration is for individual slide and another one is for total duration of your presentation. At the bottom middle, we have few more important options. First is the laser pointer, using which we can point at main topics in our presentations. Next is pen tool, using which we can mark important topics using left click mouse button. Last option is the highlighter, using which we can highlight important points holding down left click mouse button. Let's close this slideshow and press Ctrl plus Z to undo all markings. Again go to record slideshow option and click on record option. Once the counter ends, we can see our record timing will start. We can click on right button to move to next slide and you can observe the change in record durations. Let's use laser pointer to point at few topics. On next slide, let's use pen tool to underline few topics. Similarly, let's use highlighter tool. Every time when we move to next slide, the first recorded duration will reset automatically and right side duration will display total timing. Another important point is, even though our presentation has animations in it, we won't see it during slideshow record option. That's because, this option records only timings and narrations within our presentations. Once we end our presentation, we will see an icon which basically holds our timing and narration details. Now if we go to file menu and export this presentation as video, we will find an option to use our recorded timings and narrations. Say if we directly try to export this to video without any recordings, then this option will not be enabled. We can choose the export video quality up to 4K resolution and then click on create video. Choose the location, give it a file name and then click on save. At the bottom of our slide, we can see the progress of our video conversion.
Once completed, this video will be in MP4 format and can be played in any video player. Now we can see, the video will have our animations along with our recorded timings and narrations. Let's go to file menu and choose create a video under export option. As mentioned before, we can see the option to use recorded timings and narrations is disabled automatically. Choose the video resolution, set the timing between each slide and then click on create video. Choose the location, give it a file name and then click on save. At the bottom of our slide, we can see the progress of our video conversion. Once completed, this video will be in MP4 format and can be played in any video player. Now we can see, the video will have only animations, but no narrations. Let's go to insert tab and choose screen recording option. Set your recording area and then click on record option. Now we can animate all our presentation and same will be recorded as video. Once we stop the recording, this video will be added into our slide. Right click and choose save media as option. Give it a file name and click on save. Again, this video will be in MP4 format and can be played in any video player. To convert PowerPoint presentation into animated GIF, go to File menu and choose Create Animated GIF option under Export section. Choose the quality, set the timing between each slide and then click on Create GIF. Choose the location, give it a file name and then click on Save. At the bottom of our slide, we can see the progress of our GIF conversion. Once completed, we can open this GIF in any image viewer and check its animations. On top, we can see the file extension as GIF. So these were important topics on converting PowerPoint presentation in video and GIF formats. Hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Please don't forget to like, share, and comment.